Hello, everybody. Welcome. My name is Melinda Hart. You are watching Stamping with Hart. I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And today we are doing a catalog walkthrough. This is the brand new 2023-2024 annual catalog from Stampin' Up! It launched today, uh, Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023. And because it has officially launched and is live for all of you to shop and browse and make your shopping lists and do all the things, um, it's, it's okay for us to open it and share it with you today. So that is what we are going to do. And for fun, I actually put the banners for today in Moody Mauve, one of our brand new in colors. Um, and there are some reasons for that. So um, welcome in. This is going to be um, a little bit of a longer video. I do have to try to keep the pace because I got to go get my son from school um, in a, a few hours. But anyway, don't be scared. It's not going to be two hours. Um, but as you guys are coming on watching live or in the replay, be sure to say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. Have you got your catalog yet? Um, or have you shopped today yet? Have you placed an order? I would love to hear um, what you are most excited to get. We're going to be going through the catalog. So we're going to be looking at all the things in here. And I will share with you some of the things that I got. But let me just give you guys um, a quick update. So if you registered for the paper share or in color club with me, that order was placed this morning. Everything went smoothly. The order was confirmed. So we're all set. Now, I did record a personal message um, for each of um, the events that I'm holding, and I'll be sending those out um, in just a little bit here. But I did want to just share that update because I was personally so excited about it. Um, I'm sure you're going to be excited to hear about it. So yeah, it was, it was eventful. So um, for a lot of us demonstrators who do have events, you know, happening around this catalog, um, we all get up really early. <laughs> so we were up really early to place our order and make sure that we got everything in on time. Um, so this is it. This is the new catalog. I'm going to be switching so that the full screen is on the catalog as we're paging through it. But there's just a few updates that I want to go over with you first. Um, so the first thing is I am going to be putting the May host code link in the comments section. Okay. So the way that this works is if you shop in the online store with me and you use this host code link for May, it's good from May 1st to the 31st. Um, if you spend 50 or more before tax, you will receive a free embellishment from me. So your order with Stampin' Up will still come from Stampin' Up, but that free embellishment will come from me. I will mail that out to you. And I typically email those or email. I typically mail those at the end of the month or the beginning of the following month. Um, so if you guys have any questions about that, let me know. Um, but be sure that you shop with the host code. You have to use the host code to get the free embellishment. Okay. So um, that's the first thing. So I posted that in the comments. And now um, let me just post it up here too for anybody who just wants the code. So if you don't want to actually use the link and you would rather just type it in, um, this is the code that you will type in at checkout. Okay, so when you're shopping your new catalog orders today, there's the code if you need it. And I'll just leave that up on the screen um, just for a few minutes. I am going to do um, just a brief screen share with you because I have to show you the paper pumpkin add-on. So um, we're going to be focusing on, you know, just all of the goodies inside of the catalog. But one of the things that they don't print in the catalogs, and they wouldn't be able to, are the marketing materials for each month's paper pumpkin kit. So that's why I'm going to share this with you first, because these cards are stunning. So I'm just going to show you the details really quickly, um, and then we will get back to um, the catalog walkthrough, okay? So let me share my screen here.
Okay, so um, this is my blog as was updated this morning. This is stampingwithheart.blogspot.com. Um, I usually have clickable links right here on my blog. So if you want to read more about it, here is the updated photo. So today when all of the new catalog items launched, including the new in color collection 2023 to 2025 in colors, those five colors are actually going to be featured um, in the design of this month's kit, the May kit, and also in the add-on cards. And even the Stampin' Spot is going to be one of the new colors, okay? So here you can see um, the pictures prior to today were all in black and white. But now we can actually see the color theme. Um, it is an outdoor theme. It is gorgeous. Okay. And then over here, I have the clickable link for the add on, but I'm going to show it to you a little bit closer just so that you can see the details on this. And if you need the May host code link, it's also here. Um, and then here's the paper pumpkin subscription link. Okay. So um, let me just stop the share on that one. I am so excited about that. And then let me show you, um, bah, 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 bah. let me show you this one. So I'm going to switch to me for just a minute and we'll go ahead and turn this off and then let me share and there we go. Okay. So this you can see in much better detail. So um, this is actually on the Stampin' Up! website. If you purchase the add-on, um, this is what the add-on looks like. So um, this is called the Exploring In Color Cards and Envelopes. It's $10 while supplies last. The item number is 163113. Um, it's 18 cards and coordinating envelopes that are going to match back to the, the May paper pumpkin kit. I mean, I think that these cards and these designs are stunning. So we're looking at boho blue, copper clay, and moody mauve just right here in the envelopes and also here on the backs of the card bases. But look at that artwork. So um, this was really, I just felt like this was really something special. I happen to love nature scenes and outdoor scenes and things like that when I'm crafting. Um, you might too, but this one is just, I, I just think so beautiful. So if you need more information about that, um, you can go to my blog and you can shop online in the online store. Um, and I would say just one more reminder to use that host code. Okay. Um, so now I can stop that share and let's go and do our catalog walkthrough. Um, so if you guys have any questions along the way, if you need to reach out to me, um, this is my email um, and I would be happy to chat with you. Okay. So just um, any questions at all, don't hesitate to ask. All right, here we go. So we're going to switch it to the catalog now. Um, grab your coffee, grab your, you know, favorite beverage. If you, I don't know if you're a coffee or a tea person, but we're going to go through this catalog now. I was already sending so many emails today between the catalog launch and then the paper pumpkin update that I, I didn't want to send a third one. <laughs> so... Um, let's go ahead and walk through the catalog. The other thing that I want to say um, just really quickly is that all images are copyright stampin' up whenever I am showing a catalog. So I just wanted to say that right out of the gate. Um, and now let's go ahead and we're going to open this up and go through this. The first thing that you're going to see are the amazing samples. And I have to tell you, I just have been absolutely over the moon about the daisies. It's actually my main theme with all of my social media too, um, my host code and all of that. So you can see all of these different beautiful projects. And it's a combination of showing that Daisy's bundle and all of these fabulous new colors from the color refresh. Okay. So um, if you've ordered any of the new colors yet, or if the new colors are on your list, let me know which ones you are getting. Um, Moody Mob was a particular favorite for me. I'm just going to kind of go past these um, early pages, but you can certainly go through these um, and look in more detail. Uh, I highly recommend it. Um, the catalog is just, it's one of those things that when you get a chance to sit down and just sort of read through it, it's so nice. 
and I'm going to scroll past this part too, because we did just talk about paper pumpkin, but if you ever want more information on how to do prepaid subscriptions or pricing, um, things like that, then I would refer you to page 13 of the 2023, 2024 in color catalog. Now they also have something called kits collection and kits collection is primarily online where you can shop kits and you can see exactly what's inside those kits. The main difference between kit collection and paper pumpkin is that kit collection, you see exactly what you're getting. Um, and with paper pumpkin, there's always a little bit of an element of surprise and they change every month throughout the year. So um, some of these kits don't, you know, they don't have stamping. Some of them do. Some of them have an ink spot. Some of them don't. Um, so it just depends. But I would encourage anybody um, to look at the kits collection online if you like that type of thing. Because I have such a heavy um, focus and passion for Paper Pumpkin, that's usually where my focus is for kits. But kits collection is also a lot of fun if you want to check that out, okay? So here we go. Here's where the fun starts, okay? Um, the Bright and Beautiful Sweet Collection. I think many of you have probably already seen some sneak peeks of this. And you know what? I'm actually just going to move my light a little bit closer. I feel like it's a little bit dark. So just hang out with me one second. Is that better? I think that's better. Okay. So yeah, this is called Bright and Beautiful. And this features so many of the new colors um, from our color refresh. So Lemon Lime Twist, Pretty Peacock, Azure Afternoon, Blueberry Bushel, Berry Burst, and Bubble Bath. And the reason that I'm pointing that out is because this is such a versatile designer series paper pack. Oh my gosh. Um, the specialty papers in this catalog are stunning. Um, so I think if anybody, you know, if, if you're just getting started with stamping, if you're just getting started with stamping up, um, maybe, you know, you're new to finding these videos and you're not sure where to start with designing, take a look at the cards on the sweet pages. Um, there's cards all throughout this catalog that will give you great ideas, but really, really, they are just, they are so fabulous and fun. So here, I just want to navigate a few things for the catalog before we start paging through it, particularly if you are new here. If you're interested in getting the entire suite, and what they mean by a suite is everything that's on this page, okay, so designer series paper, specialty paper, stamp set, and dies, then you, and I think maybe even an embellishment here, I might be missing it, um, it it'll, it'll list everything here with the suite right here. This is the suite number and the suite price. So if you type this number in when you're shopping and everything will automatically go into your cart for that suite. So that, let me just clarify, this does include the designer series paper, the gold celebration specialty paper, um, and then the bundle, the beautiful balloons bundle. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's what's included in this particular suite. If you would rather do a bundle option and not the entire suite, if you look at the bottom of this page here, anytime um, there's a bundle option, you have the opportunity to save 10% with the bundled savings. If you see that little N in pink, that means that it is brand new in this catalog. Some items in the catalog carry over, um, and this will give you that bundle price. So when you see that slash price and that price right next to it, that means that's the bundle savings if you choose this option. And of course, you can purchase items individually as well. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and just enjoy some of these samples and the pieces. And um, as you're watching, you know, if you want to leave a comment, let me know what you're liking from the catalog. Um, I would love to hear from you. Okay, so Carousel Horses. Uh, this is available as a bundle option and the dies, which I know um, the images are pretty small here on this page, but if you just take a look at some of the samples up here, wow. Um, so if you have somebody in your life that would really enjoy this theme, they had a lot of fun with the fur, didn't they? Uh, I love those different options that you have there. And then of course we have that bundled savings. Another thing I wanted to shout out is this little mini. If you see this little um, mini stamp and cut and emboss machine picture next to the bundle, that means that these dies will fit through the mini machine. Um, so we have two different size stamp and cut and emboss machines, the mini and our full size, and these will fit through the mini. 
Okay, and so circled sayings. I have already shown this bundle, um, but just in case, like I said, if you're new here, this is going to be, I, I think, one of the most versatile bundles in this catalog. Um, this was actually designed by a, a fellow demonstrator. She was a million dollar sales achiever. Her name is Jessica Taylor. Um, and one of the perks that she got from hitting that milestone was designing um, a stamp set for Stampin' Up! And then she ended up making that bundle. So I think that's pretty cool. Or she helped them design it. However, however that works. Um, and then here we have carryover. So anything that is carryover, I'm just going to keep going. We're going to focus specifically on new today. All right. And so here we're going to go to page 19. And I wanted to point out the Lazy Days Bundle. Oh my gosh. I just think this is such a great scene builder set. Um, you guys will have to let me know what you think of it. I just think it, everything about it, it's just, it has an absolute vibe to it. But this one really caught my eye, just all of the details and the feel of being on a porch with the rocking chair and everything. I just thought that was wonderful. Love the combination of imagery and sentiments on this one as well. Okay, so that's returning. This is new. Okay, seasonal branches. This one was actually available in pre-order. I, I really was going back and forth whether or not to order that on the pre-order and I ended up not doing it, but so many this is such a perfect time of the year to get this but this i think is going to be a year-round thing just in terms of what you might need for your themes depends on what you're looking for when you're shopping the catalog but again fantastic combination of images and sentiments um, and we have different types of ways that you can decorate whether it's with the the flowers um, the berries the leaves apples um, so different, different things like that. And then down here, if you take a look at the dies, which also fit in the mini, the dies are just absolutely incredible. You can stamp your branches or die cut your branches or both. So really cool. And you can kind of see that teaser up here where they have, um, the die cut flowers with actually the, the actual branch die, which was really cute. I love, I love how they do the design here. And you'll see little sneak peeks throughout the catalog where they give you these design ideas. And with this one, it's the small blending brush with one of our ribbons. And they colored it and customized it to match um, that card, which I thought was also really cute. Okay, so right now what I'm looking for is the new, the little, the little new symbol, the N symbol. So here is Hope You Know. So for those of you who are really looking for sets that communicate, help you communicate with your cards, I do hear from people often that they struggle with what to say. So if that's you, then this I think will be a really nice option. Handmade hugs, also new, really, really cute. And you can see, if you see like a vanilla tint or a slightly different color here, that means that there's either a punch or a die that coordinates with it. And here, I believe it's the handmade tag punch. Yeah, it's listed right here. Okay. And um, I'll just, I'll pretty much repeat myself through this whole catalog about looking at the samples. Even for returning items, there's new card samples, which is so cool to look at. Other little sneak peeks that you're going to see through the catalog here. Um, they have the metallic enamel effects basics in a metallics trio now. So they had a set in the fall that was red, white, and black. Um, these are in a metallics, um, different metallic shades, which we'll get to later in the catalog. Okay, um, here's a new stamp set. And this one is so graphic, really, really cool. Um, this one's called Super Cool. Love the imagery on this. Um, very distinct. I think this is going to be so much fun for spring and summer. But how cool is this design? I mean, this card design is just, oh my gosh, I, I love everything about it. Um, here we have another new one. Uh, so refreshing. I think this would be so cool with lazy days. And then if you guys got that citrus set, which is in here somewhere, um, that will coordinate perfectly with this bundle as well. But really, really cute. Um, and it looks like this is a, a step stamping set. I love the font on this in particular, but I think this card like just says it all in terms of the feel. 
with this um, with this particular bundle. So the So Refreshing Bundle. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> so now we're getting into the things that you're going to be seeing from me soon. All right. So Lay Shops. This is one of the things that I chose. I cannot wait to get this and show this to you. Um, and you guys can let me know in the comments what you think of this. I would love to know your thoughts and how you're feeling about this. I love everything about it, everything about it. So this um, you could get in the sweet option, which I think is just so perfect. Or you could also do the bundle option right down here or individually. But oh my gosh, I can't wait to show this to you. I I mean, I don't even think that I really need to describe it that much. But if you if you turn to this page in the catalog, if you're if you have your catalog with you and you're hanging out with me um, on page 30, you can see so many little intricate details, just these little this is actually a shaker. OK, so they have a window sheet in here and the window like behind the window, you still see this imagery like stamped imagery. And then there's a shaker in there. Um, this, I believe, is a treat box, if I'm looking at this right. Um, th you can see this one, I think, is a little bit of a candy bar, like a, a candy. I'm not sure what size, but I mean, are you serious? I just, I love everything about this. So this one, I think, is going to be a lot of fun. And I thought that there were so many different great things to say. And you can choose what your shop is going to be when you're using um, this particular suite or bundle. So this is one that I got and I can't wait to share it with you. All right, and this one says that it will fit through the mini. Okay, so, oh, here's Sweet Citrus. So I think that Sweet Citrus will go really well with that new So Refreshing set, but this is returning. Um, so we're not gonna focus on returning today. We're gonna focus on new, new, new. All right, here's what I wanna point out about this page. These are treat bags in the new in colors. So we're definitely going to do something about that. Um, and th there, you know, on these certain pages, you're going to see different ideas and designs and layouts and then some suggested products right here that are featured on this page. All right. And then let's go. These are all returning. Returning. This one is new. Okay, so this one is called Wonderful Thoughts. Uh, you can get this as a stamp set or a bundle. This is very similar to Charming Sentiments, where with this bundle, um, these images, can you see how they're highlighted in white? That means that they all have a coordinating die to cut out that sentiment. Um, everybody really appreciated being able to do that. Um, this is a very versatile set. And again, this is for people who are really looking for um, something to say, or they really like having a lot of variety when it comes to the greetings or the sentiments on their cards. And that will fit through the mini. Okay, let's talk about Christmas just for a hot second. I'm, I don't want to scare anybody because it's only May 2nd. But there is a section in here. Now, these are returning items. I'm not going to focus on it too much. I just wanted to shout out that at least there's a little bit of holiday here. Okay. So, again, these are all returning. But just mentioning that because it's important to me. I'm a Christmas in July girl. Okay. Page 46, Zoo Crew. This was hugely popular with the pre-order. So, this is something that I just wanted to point out here. Um, if you're interested in getting the suite collection, here is the item number. It tells you everything that is that comes with the suite right underneath. And then everything that you see on this page would be part of that suite. Um, this designer series paper, I actually did get to look at this and kind of play with this a little bit. And it is just absolutely adorable. So much fun here. Um, for people who are younger or learning to read, they may not have learned how to read like script or handwriting yet or cursive, just depending on how we're saying it these days. Um, so I do appreciate when fonts are in um, this particular type. You know, it's 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 just it's easier for the kids when it isn't in a, a handwritten font. Sometimes I love fonts and I love variety of fonts. 
but it's just nice when you have something that is this clean and easy to read, particularly if you're making the cards for kids or grandkids or something like that. But you, and again, it's hard to see here. You can see it better back in the bundle section or in the die section, but so much variety with the dies on that. This one was adorable. This one's called Bird's Eye View. <laughs> it's so cute. So this is an example of a stamp set that is all images. So it would blend really well with one of the word sets that we were just talking about. Um, but <laughs> if you like birds, I think you're absolutely going to love this. They just, they had so much fun with those samples, didn't they? And then here, um, this one is called Hey Chuck. This is available as just a stamp set or a bundle. The coloring on this is absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh. Um, so hopefully, um, I'm not sure if you guys can hear me or not. I hope you can. Um, let me see. I'm not seeing anything in the comments, which is fine. Just want to be sure that you can hear me. And because that's my phone, I can't test it out. So, um, if anybody happens to pop on, just let me know if you can hear the sound. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, the coloring on these are just really incredible. Just wanted to, to shout that out. But for those of you who love this theme, um, really, really cute. Okay, returning. These are all returning. Okay, so here's new. Little Monkey. Um, this was also available in the pre-order. Really adorable. And this is a very affordable bundle. So this bundle is only $38.50. It has a builder punch with it. Or, of course, you could just do the stamp set. And you can see some of the samples right over on this side. Really, really cute. Okay. All right. Hello Kiwi is new. Now, personally, I'm not exactly sure what I would do with that stamp set yet, but I know every single time they come out with something and I'm not sure about it, somebody designed something amazing. So this is one that really didn't um, like strike me right away, but you never know. It might be perfect for certain occasions. And here is, you know, a few samples that you can see here. That's really creative. It looks, it almost looks real. And I'm skipping phrases for all. So let me go back to that. This one I think is really great for those who like larger sentiments or stamps. Okay. Um, you're all kinds of amazing. Confetti and cake for you, for your happy day. That's really cool. Let's pop some bubbly. That's cute. Um, really, really cute. All right. Friendship royalty. I absolutely love this. But I have a boy. I mean, there are certainly girls that I could make this for. Um, but I don't know if this would be on my list right away. I can tell you it didn't go in with my order today. But I, if you guys have somebody that this would be perfect for, let me know. Um, to the birthday queen. That's really cute. Um, your friendship royalty. If the crown fits. Thanks for fixing my crown. Um, you were born to be fabulous, not perfect. I think that that's really adorable. And it sounds like that. Oh, I didn't realize this was actually designed by Kelly Atchison. Um, and she is a million dollar achiever. So that is really, really cute. Okay. Little dreamers. This is also new. I love this set personally. It just, it really appeals to me because um, my son still to this day really loves sort of themes like this and um, really likes, uh, you know, nighttime lullaby music like he's very calmed by like Brahms lullaby and things like that uh, so that is just something that I really really love for him that said I haven't gotten it yet but it's on my list um, you guys will have to let me know if this is on your list so you could do this as a bundle or a stamp set I love uh, what they did here particularly with the coloring of the elephant oh my gosh that's so cute Okay, so these are all returning. We're just going to keep it going. This one I thought was really interesting. So I think it's very particular, um, but you can make some really adorable stuff with this, particularly if you're doing thank you for nurses and teachers and anything along those lines, coaching, um, any of that. It looks like even for doctors. Uh, so just really, really cute. Everyday thanks is what this one is called. Thank you for everything that you do. I mean, it's just said perfectly. I love the art on that. Um, so while it doesn't stand out right away, like when you see a sample like this, you can start to get some ideas 
as to how great that could be as a stamp set. If this is, you know, sort of the stage that you're in, or you have somebody in your life that maybe is a school nurse or a teacher or a therapist or a doctor, anything like that. Okay. And that, oh, countryside in, is this fabulous or what? This one is so fantastic. Um, I love everything about this suite. So this is the countryside in suite number right here. It tells you everything that you get, including what's on this page. So here you can see the color combos. This is a simpler combination, all blues. And then um, what is this right here? I think that's the uh, embossing folder. It is. And this embossing folder has the same pattern as one of the papers in the designer series paper. Excuse me. I've seen some cool stuff done with that. So here, this is called Countryside Corners. Um, I do think that this is like a must have in terms of a bundle, uh, in, in terms of the dyes that are included in this, but I haven't personally picked this one up yet. Uh, it is on my list. Okay, Lasting Joy. This one is new. Um, and again, this is one of those that didn't quite catch my eye right away, but I've been hearing other people say that they've been very excited to get this. Um, absolutely stunning font on that the hand it really truly looks like handwriting here and then a lot to say so if you like florals you have both of that in terms of the combination this one is so sweet i just think that that's a really nice little sample okay this was one of the samples that they showed when they announced the color refresh to demonstrators i love that card this is um with lemon lolly right there so here this is the textured floral bundle absolutely beautiful and this is a distinctive set so if you like that theme um then i think that you will really appreciate this bundle but the dyes are stunning we'll get a better look um in the back so um i can see a few people watching i don't know if you are able to leave me a comment or not i know that sometimes facebook is being weird I've had issues with Facebook lately, um, but if anybody can hear me and you happen to be on live with me right now, I just want to make sure that my sound is working. So uh, just let me know. And I'm sorry for those of you who are watching and kind of hearing me say that. I, I just did two videos with this right before I went live, so it should be fine. Um, just double checking. Okay, so this is... Um, this is a returning item, but you can see we have some of that in-color trim up here. Uh, we're starting to see some of those stamp and write markers, just little things kind of sneaking in. This one, I think personally, is just stunning. Really unique die set in particular. Um, this is also on my list. Haven't gotten this one yet. Um, but this is called Timeless Arrangements. And there is a lot here. 26 photopolymer stamps. And then with the dies, I think I have to look at the actual... Um, the, the page for the dies to see how many there are, but wait until you see all the details on the dies. Oh, I do have people commenting. You can see and hear me. Thank you so much, Diana. Thank you so much, Kathy. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I was getting nervous about it. Okay. The next page is Darling Details. This is one that I got. Um, I'm not sure how you guys are feeling about Darling Details, but when I was younger, I had so many outfits and I just remember this detail of this eyelet design. Um, it reminds me a lot of like strawberry shortcake. And this is from when I was growing up. Um, but I just absolutely love the pattern. It's nostalgic to me. I think it's just very delicate and very sweet. Um, so that really stood out to me. The dyes in particular stood out to me. Um, but look at the stamp set that goes with it too. Really soft, unique artwork for, in this case, florals. And I'm a big florals person, but I liked that it was different. Um, so I think I'm going to have a lot of, a lot of fun with this one. This is also a distinctive stamp set. Um, so that's that one. I won't focus too long, but I cannot wait to start playing with that. Uh, just my type. This was in my cart and at the last minute I changed it and I'll show you what I got instead. And of course, I have a year to show you these things, but you know, the excitement of day one. Um, I think this is a very unique, cool stamp set. Um, if you guys like this one, leave me a comment. Let me know. Um, so clever. I know it's very, I know it's very particular, but I just think that it's really cool. 
Okay. Earthen elegance. This one, we're, we're really kind of getting into it with the sweets that really was, they were like capturing me. I did not get this sweet yet, but I think we are going to see the most amazing work in cards coming out with this. You know, this is definitely one that is on my list. Um, so here you can see, this is everything that you would get with the suite. You could also do the bundle option here. And all of these that have this coloring, that means that it has a coordinating die to it. Looks like there's a couple of independent dies in there as well. Look at those samples. That is so cool. I mean, look at this. I love the detail on that. Okay, this one I thought was so cool. There's a couple of these in here like this where it's more of a vertical focus. Um, so here, this is called Courage and Faith. Um, and you can see these are more vertical sentiments. And then, of course, you could stamp them in this, you know, design area, or you could just use this independently for something else. But that is really cool. This was also designed by a million dollar sales achiever. Her name is Natalie Travis. So definitely like to shout that out because they've certainly earned it. Okay, this is returning. Um, this one is new. So this is called Time Together. Um, you guys, will, let, let me know what your thoughts are on this. This is, a, again, I think this is a very particular, unique set. Um, but I have to say when I was little, again, my grandmother had an hourglass and I used to play with it all the time. And I was just saying to Patrick, you know, this is one of those things that could be very calming. It could be like very soothing. And I was like, I wonder if we could get Connor an hourglass and just see if that's something that like holds his interest. It's just really cool. But all of the imagery and the artwork that they've done here, I just think that these samples are absolutely incredible. So this is the Time Together bundle. And then, of course, you could just do the stamp set. But again, I think this is one of those where like you have to do both because there's so much detail in the dies um, if you get that one. All right. That one is returning. This one is great. Um, I didn't put this in my list in particular, but I love when there are people on stamps. Um, so, and I will, I'll get to that a little bit more in a minute, but this one is called Here's to Love. Um, and if you have the natural tone blends, um, and I can show you where to find those here in the annual catalog as well. They're not in the same spot as our other regular blend shades, um, but this is great. It just depending on if you need to customize this to somebody or if you know somebody who's getting married, um, engaged, congratulations, anniversary, anything like that. Okay, kindest expressions. So this is for those of you who really like those larger sentiments that kind of take up a card front and kind of become the main uh, piece of decoration as well as the greeting. And this is one of my favorites. I got this one. So... I absolutely, I just think that whoever made these samples, I wish I knew the artist who did the samples for this suite, because the minute I saw this page, I was like, I have to have it. I have to have it. Um, here's what I want to shout out to all of you. And I realize this is a, a different type of a video and not everybody hangs in for the whole video. So for those of you who are here for this part, would you be interested in seeing a class from me? with Let's Go Fishing. I'm I'm very curious. I'm thinking about it and I would love for you guys to weigh in on that. Um, for me personally, I can think of multiple ways and multiple people that I would give this to. I just think that this is so much fun, but look at these samples. And when I was looking at this, I was like, what, what's going on here? I just wasn't sure. And then I saw this piece over here and if you look at the dies down here, it actually has this whole shelf in section. It's like the coolest thing. So just like if you were in one of their tackle boxes, like a fishing tackle box, I just think that that is so clever. But honestly, like if you got the, um, there's a crafting bundle. I haven't come up to it. I think it's called crafting with you. Uh, you could do so many different clever things with this where we could turn this into different organizers, but, you know, different themes. So this could go far beyond fishing, but, oh my gosh, I mean, Father's Day, um, I, I mean, just, just depending, just depending on what it's for. Here they are saying it's congratulations and retirement, 
some are just saying, so glad that you're my dad, right? <laughs> Sometimes you don't need the occasion. Good things come to those who wait. How perfect is that? How great is the font and the imaging? I just think that that's so cool. I absolutely love it. I'm excited to get the paper, the embossing folder, all the things. And this embossing folder is called Twisted Rope 3D. So yes, this one really captured me right away. Uh, now here are some really unique, fun stamp sets that I think we're gonna see a lot of fun um, you know, ideas with. And hopefully I can play with some down the line. Uh, supremely awesome pizza theme. It's a science. So, so cute. Again, very particular time or, you know, theme, but this could be used in a lot of different fun ways. Construction zone. Connor is all about that. So at some point I will get that set. Love their projects here, particularly this one, the you matter. That is so funny. and just so cool. Okay. And then here, um, next destination. This one is new for the travelers in your life, or if you travel, or if you are a memory keeper, that is something that I really haven't um, talked too much about. But for those of you who are scrapbookers, there is something about what they've created with this catalog that really makes me think this is great for memory keepers as well. I've really gotten away from scrapbooking over the years. I am 100% card making right now. And when I look at these things, that's the first thing I think of because it's what I make. But if you are a memory keeper, wow, you know, that's, that's going to make some stunning pages. Okay. Uh, Kathy says, the fishing, um, she said the fishing one, the fishing suite is really needed. I agree with you, Kathy. And I was just talking to um, one of my team members and she went crazy for this set too. She went crazy for the fishing set. We were talking about that. We were both so excited about it. Um, so yeah, I mean, I really do think that it was, I really like doing things that have masculine themes because I live with boys. <laughs> so, I, you know, I just like making projects in that theme a lot of the time or if it involves nature or outdoors or anything like that, um, because Patrick absolutely loves that. His dad loves that. There are different people that I can think of, but just I, I'm it is a great addition to the catalog. I agree. OK, sweet and precious. Oh my goodness. Uh, if you like animals, it's a, I just think it's a must. And the artwork is just so incredible. This one is so touching. Um, Connor is obsessed with penguins and he recently got this, like it was, it's a weighted toy and it's a sloth. And I, it just made me think of that. So just for the time that I'm in, in my life, like this just really applies to us bring on the cuddles. I mean, how cute is that? Especially if you're trying to let somebody know that you're thinking about them. I believe in you. I think this is one of the most important things that we can say to particularly our littles and just depending on if it's your, you know, grandkids, nieces, nephews, friends, cousins, um, appreciating all you do. All of these are affectionate, but this one just really caught me for some reason. Maybe it's because Connor loves penguins so much. Um, this one's so cute. Too. They're all cute. I mean, honestly. Okay. And then this, these are returning. And of course you can see this was like the original, I think that brought on that set we just looked at. Now here again, very particular, but so many of us love outer space and it, it really doesn't get more stunning than this in terms of color design and the combination of products that they've created here. Like this is the definition of why a suite makes card making so easy. Look at the stamp set. It has coordinating dies. It has individual dies. Look at the designer series paper, this holographic paper. Oh my goodness. I mean, this one is so cool. I I love absolutely everything that they created with this. And you can see some of the fun that you can have with the dies here. And I also think this is going to be absolutely incredible for anybody who enjoys playing with color, like the new colors. This is the color theme here. And it's so different, so vibrant. Um, there's some, you know, darker colors in here, but wow. Pumpkin pie, lemon lime twist, um, Tahitian tide, and berry burst. So cool. 
Okay, returning, returning, returning. Uh, fun on wheels. How cute is this? Um, and it covers a lot of the different wheel bases, just depending on who you would be making this for. And this has a bundle option with it as well. Adorable samples up top. This one has captured so many hearts. Um, this is called the Crafting With You Bundle. And this was one of the things that I was thinking of for the tackle box because we have all of these different craft things here that you could put in the box. Um, just really cute. And in terms of combination, like with the dies and the stamps. So like you can build a little pair of scissors here. There's a paper trimmer. So just exactly how we might have a craft room, right? Um, absolutely incredible here in the design. I did want to point out that if you are giving a little craft gift, they're showing this with, I, I can't tell if that's either the spritzers or our, um, water painters, but so cool. Just love what they did there in terms of like the gift packaging and this little paper trimmer. I've been seeing so many fabulous things with that and our stamp and cut and emboss machine is so funny. So this is a great, great bundle option. Um, this was designed by a million dollar sales achiever, Irene Wendlandt. I'm not sure if I'm saying her name right. I hope I am. Um, but again, if I missed any, I apologize. But I do like to try to shout those out. I think that she did a great job designing that. So many people that we could think of and do themes for. Um, these are returning. This is new. So level complete. I think that this, like the fishing set, was really needed for people who have teenagers um, or somebody that it's very difficult to make cards for because we don't typically have themes like gaming, right? So this, I think, will be very popular for those who do have um, kids or grandkids in that phase and they're very interested in video games. Um, I do want to just kind of point out up here there, and this is on page 93, uh, patchwork piece dies. I was so close to ordering this today, and I think I opted for the deckled rectangles instead, but I'm still going to get it. <laughs> I'm still going to get this because it's so cool. So you can see some of those pieces that are cut out. You can create full patterns. Here is a sample of what it looks like with the patchwork all in place. And you can cut this out in many different color card stocks or papers and get that really cool look. Okay, Inked Botanicals is the next suite. And here, um, look at the color palette. Is that just so beautiful? I mean, soft, subtle, um, really, really pretty, very distinct, definitely for those of us who appreciate nature or florals. Um, also could be for people who enjoy patterns when you, especially if you take a look at the paper and the punch. Um, so you can see here we have an inked and tiled bundle option and there are two punches here as part of this bundle or suite, just depending on what you would want to get. Um, and this ribbon is called Lost Lagoon one quarter inch bordered ribbon. Nice narrow ribbon, which is always great for card projects. Okay. Um, layering leaves. So this was designed by Million Dollar Sales Achiever, Rachel Tessman. Um, and this one is also, I think, like one of those things that's going to become incredibly versatile. Uh, this coordinates with the bow punch. And you can see the ones that are sort of color, have color behind them. Um, they have a coordinating punch to them. So here, look at all of these different options. The font is so beautiful. And I always love any type of like a little splatter stamp. These are so useful, um, particularly if you don't like to have a lot of blank space, which I don't. So here, best wishes, thinking of you, for you, sending hugs. Hello. Thank you so much. So happy to celebrate you. This is just very sweet. I'm, I'm very interested to see um, the different projects that are going to come out with this one. And another Million Dollar Achiever set. I mean, there's so many in this catalog. Go to Greetings. Um, this one is by Sandy Hartka. Oh, that's a similar name to mine. So here, um, all fonts, it looks like just a combination of Greetings. 
and really, really fabulous options here. Um, look at how fancy some of these are. Look at this happy birthday. Just a note, I have to say, I really love that font. But it's nice that we, we're seeing this in like three different options. So just a note, just a note, just a note, three different ways. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. So yeah, um, you have three different font options with, with those, you know, really staple go-to greetings, like she's saying, very aptly named. Okay, that is returning. Bold bouquet. Um, I, I think the samples are really pretty, but just in combination with everything else that I've seen in the in the catalog so far, I was like, I don't really know how I feel about this one yet. So for me personally, I'm not sure how I feel about it. This does coordinate with the mini, so these dies will fit through the mini. I do think it's pretty. I love this die, the petal patterns dies. Um, and I think it's a cool pairing but I just haven't really had a chance to let that one absorb in my brain yet. Okay, Scenic Wonders. So again, for the nature lovers, um, I'm gonna shout this out for anybody who loves Paper Pumpkin as much as I do. Um, and we're seeing this uh, outdoors kit that's coming up. This is for those of you who are interested in alternates or you like to extend the life of your kit type of thing. I think this stamp set is going to be great um, or for any of your other nature sets. Like, for example, this is a returning set. I think that this, these would be really cool together. I'm really excited to see what people make with these, but you can get a feel for them with the samples over here. Um, so it just depends, but different um, terrain, basically. Uh, but I love the length of this particular stamp. So glad you're in this world with me. I just think that is just the most wonderful thing to say. <laughs> that's, that's such a nice little compliment. Okay, that's returning. Masterfully made. The first thing that I noticed about this set was how bold it was. Like, truly, the first thing that I really paid attention to was the paper. And every time I turn to this page, because I've been through the catalog a couple of times now, it's still the first place that my eyes go. I haven't even really noticed the bundle. <laughs> and that's just me being completely honest. But if we look over here at the samples, you can see there's like this torn paper, which is one of the dies option here. They have like this torn, this torn edge. That's actually a die. Um, this die is really cool, very detailed. And you can see that that's used um, in a couple of different ways here, vellum in the background on this. And this one's very clean. So in terms of the stamps, there's only seven stamps with this, but they're big. Um, and this one would be more of a pattern stamp, but really cool. This one has a coordinating die that you can see has the sort of torn edge look to it. So that could be really cool for some projects, but uh, masterfully made is not something that has made my personal list yet. You guys have to let me know how you feel about it. You might really love that. Okay, vertical blooms. This one really caught my eye right away because this is something that I would love to use in terms of a pattern. Thanks to you. Um, bloom with grace, uh, missing you these days, and then just these coordinating images that would make this really pretty. Love, love, love the font on it, but of course, the best thing being that it's vertical. Um, very unique, very different. And then coffee with friends. So I did get this one. <laughs> I had to. I have a vision for this, and I will have to see if the vision works out. Um, but I have to tell you, uh, Grassy Grove, which that this particular die um, is one of my favorite dies in the collection. Like it's one of my favorite dies that I've ever gotten from Stampin' Up. And when I saw this card, I was like, I have to have it. I have to have it. So Coffee with Friends, that is something that I did put on my order. Um, and then here, if you're interested in that vertical bloom, you can kind of get a feel for the way that this comes together right? Like when you're seeing everything individually like this, it might not make sense, but you would stamp these flowers right in here with your leaves, uh, the leaves, and it looks really pretty. And here you can see just very delicate, very soft, and then they just cut down on the sentiment there, which is really cool. But yeah, this one we're going to be, we're going to be doing some stuff with. And again, I want to shout out that that was a design by a million dollar sales achiever. Her name is Sandy Rule. So really cool. This, this catalog really has a lot of guest designers in it. And they all did an amazing job, I think. 
Okay, Marvelous Nature. This one is new. Um, very graphic. Like, love that they have, like, shapes and backgrounds built in with these particular stamps. That's really, really cool. And you can see the different ways that they've colored that. It's really incredible. Okay, uh, Your Path Awaits. So this one's a builder set. I don't know how you guys feel about builder sets. When I look at this, I think Europe. You know, that's just what it reminds me of with like the cobblestone path and this wall and the fountain. Um, and of course, you could have water coming out of the fountain. That's really cute. That's really cool. Um, but I don't know if I would get this one personally. You guys would have to let me know what you think about that. Okay. Um, Enchanted Butterfly. This is new. So it's like a thing that butterflies are like the best selling craft item, I think, pretty much around. I don't have any, you know, stats to back that up, but I know that they're wildly popular. So if you like butterflies, here's a stamp set for you. And they have this one categorized as a reversible, meaning you can use both sides of the stamp. Okay, fresh as a daisy, all about it. Already have it, already love it obsessed. So for those of you who signed up for my in color club, this is what we're working on month one because Moody Mauve is the month one color and oh my goodness. So I love daisies. I think that this is really cool. I love everything about this. I can't say that like daisies are my favorite flower, but they're a happy flower. And I really personally enjoyed this suite. So this is your sweet option which means you would get everything on this page or you could do the bundle option or purchase individually. But, oh, I love that. Now, for those of you who love the ocean, here's Beauty of the Deep. You could get that as a stamp set or a bundle. Um, let's see. Prized plant. I I really, I don't know. I would have to see. Here it is. Okay, so here, here's an option with this. Maybe this is like more of a plant person thing. Um, it's not really appealing to me personally, but you'll have to let me know what you think about it. And then of course, right here again, softly sketched, love the artwork on this. It's a distinctive set. Um, really, really pretty actually, but I didn't really notice too much about it initially looking at these. I think they're really stunning. I think that there's, there are some really stunning projects here. We're seeing those treat bags again. That's coming back around. Okay, so these are returning. This is new. This one is called Stamped with Love. Really, really cool. Now, for those of you um, who the angel of policy would apply to your cards, if you're um, at a craft fair and you have so many handmade cards, um, you would use this. You can learn more about the angel policy right here. Um, and this is a $20 stamp set. But this also has really cool themes just for the mail, for those of us who love mailing cards. All right, here, uh, page 118, we're getting into the background stamps. There are three new background stamps. So we have Sketched Plaid, which I think is going to be really popular. Berry Harvest, which you can see here. And then it's in the stars, which is going to coordinate back so beautifully with multiple sets that we have that lullaby set, which I know that's not called that, but that's what I think of when I see it, the one with the little baby elephant. Um, and then also, of course, the stargazing suite. Um, so cool. And then the rest of these are returning. Here's a look at that plaid. That's cool. At least I think it is. Hold on. I think it is. Oh, you know what they did? They used the stamp and write markers. They used the stamp and write markers to make a multi pattern plaid, um, a plaid stamp. That is so, and that's what they're for, right? That's really cool. Okay, we are getting into more of our staple pieces or accessory items of the catalog. And I am going to show this part because each year when they come out with the annual catalog, sometimes they kind of, um, you know, do a refresh or reorganize it slightly. So I just want you, if this, if this applies to you, I just want to show you how to navigate um, sort of these color charts and everything like that. So here you're looking at our color collections. We just had a color refresh. So they are pointing out those new and returning colors in these color collections here. Um, and then we also have our in color collections. So the way that you would shop these charts here is 
of the in color collections we have 2023 to 2025 and then 2022 to 2024. If you want the card stock, you would just run your finger along to the color that you want, and then there's your item number for it. So the thing about this is for those of us who collect the color collections and we get all of the coordinating colors, which was one of the absolute best things about Stampin' Up, then this is how you would do it. So if you would want all of the coordinating items in one particular color, right? So this is what we're doing for In Color Club. We're doing these here for In Color Club. Um, you would get your classic Stampin' Pad, your refill, your blends, and your cardstock all in that shade. If you only want one or two of those, then you would just line it up and then choose your item. And that counts for all of the color collections here. I'm just going to shout out the new or returning colors. So in the Brights collection, Lemon Lime Twist is returning. So all of these items are new. Azure Afternoon is a brand new color to the Brights collection, and these are all new. Berry Burst is returning. All of these items are back, coming back, or new. In the Neutrals collection, Misty Moonlight is returning, and then those are new or returning. Uh, pecan pie is a brand new color in the neutrals collection. So these are the item numbers for those brand new items. So if you're building those color collections and adding those new colors in, this is where you would get that information. Okay. Um, for regals, uh, returning pretty peacock and blueberry bushel and all of those item numbers. The subtles was the one that had the most changes. There are four. So lemon lolly is brand new. Bubble Bath is brand new, and those are the coordinating item numbers. And then returning is Lost Lagoon and Fresh Freesia, which was just recently from our outgoing in color collection. Okay. And then if you need your basics, uh, very vanilla, basic white, basic black, uh, they have some, you know, miscellaneous things here, then this is where you would find those item numbers in the catalog. So that covers the color collections. Here we have storage, uh, the in color, um, not just in colors, but also all of the color collection, stamp and write markers. If you're buying anything in a collection, just keep in mind, um, the markers have been redone very slightly, very subtly, but these color collections are new because we had colors that retired. There were 11 from the regular color collections that retired. And then we have those new and returning colors we just talked about. So if you're, trying to restock or refresh if you want to get the the bundled collection you know stamp and rights then this will have all of those new and returning colors in them just wanted to point that out and then you could also get the um stamp and write markers in the in color collections they also have something called core okay new core colors so for the 11 colors that are coming back in that aren't in colors, they actually have bundled options for cardstock. This is the eight and a half by 11. You can get 22 sheets, two of each of the 11 colors. Uh, you could get a 12 by 12 core pack bundle option. So 22 sheets, again, two each of 11 colors. If you're interested in getting the bundled ink pads, so the 11 new or returning ink colors, you can get that bundle option here. There's a 10% savings when you do that. And then here you could do the Stampin' Write in the core colors. So 11 markers, one each of the 11 colors, and that item number is here. And so up here at the top, you can see, again, it just runs down the list. These are our regular color collections. This is for those of you who are plugging in or trying out the new or returning colors only. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. If you guys need any help with that or if you have any questions, just let me know. Okay, here we're getting into packaging. Now, one thing that I did want to point out, um, the scalloped gift card boxes are delayed. They're going to be late. And from what I understand, they're going to be significantly late. It's going to be like a couple of months before we see them. So 
they didn't pass quality control and they sent them back to be redone. Um, but here's what we do have. We have our six by eight cellophane bags. This is what I use for my card kits when I'm sending out kits with my classes. Um, we have these brand new 2023, 2025 in color treat bags. Um, so cool. Love, love, love that they have these new ones. Envelope treat boxes. Again, love that. Um, window sheets, the watercolor paper and vellum. So some of our specialty pieces that we keep all the time. Um, and then we have our basic white cardstock they have listed up here too. So they have our basic white and very vanilla in eight and a half by 11. There's also a thick cardstock option. Um, those are really good for 3D projects, things like that. If you like to have more sturdy card bases, consider the thick cardstock. And then also 12 by 12. Okay, so let's get into specialty paper. There is a lot going on with specialty papers, but I'm only going to highlight the ones that have the N next to them. So the new ones. Um, holographic Trio, really cool. You can see them right there. Um, White Center 12 by 12 specialty paper pack. That's this pack of paper here. This is in Lemon Lime Twist, Azure Afternoon, Night of Navy, Berry Burst, Fresh Freesia. Um, more Dazzle. So they had this for celebration a couple of years ago and I loved it. And now they have it in two colors. So this one's great. Um, soft Shimmer in, let's see, Berry Burst, Night of Navy, Bubble Bath, Lost Lagoon, and Pretty Peacock. That's this one here, number seven. Uh, number eight is the 2022-2024 in color textured specialty paper. So last year's in color collection um, they have a new type of uh, specialty paper with those colors. And here are this year's in colors. So this is called Luster Specialty Paper 2023 to 2025. Um, and they have this in all five of the new colors. Pebbled Path, Moody Mauve, Boho Blue, Wild Wheat, and Copper Clay. Okay. So those cover the new specialty papers. Here we're looking at the designer series paper. Um, anything that was already part of a suite, which these two were, I'm just going to move on from, but we have delightfully eclectic. Um, this is really cool. I think this is going to cover a lot of bases in terms of paper patterns. Uh, this was part of a suite. This was part of a suite. We have glorious gingham. So this is berry burst, blueberry bushel, lemon lime twist, pecan pie, and pretty peacock. Really great colors from new or returning. This was from a suite. This was from a suite. This is from a suite. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, so here we're getting back to our color collections again. So for um, 2023 to 2025, in color pack, this is the pattern that you can get, 6x6 DSP. They also have this option for the 2022, 2024 in colors, and that item number is right next to it. And then for our the regular color collections, meaning the brights, the neutrals, the regals, and the subtles, and remember, we have that color refresh. So there's going to be some new colors in there. Like I can see lemon lime twist right here. You have all four of the item numbers for this. It's all this pattern, just different colors. So brights, the numbers here, neutrals, regals, and subtles. 40 sheets, um, two each. And then here we have more, some more specialty paper. The gold celebrations is new. That was part of the suite. Uh, memories and more. So for those of you who love memories and more, there are some coordinating items that go with bright and beautiful. Um, those items are new and listed there. If you're ever looking for core pieces, this is where you would find envelopes. Okay, perfect for crafting. So nothing on this new uh, page that I can think of is new except for the uh, copper, gold, and silver enamel effects basics. So this option here, that's number 11. Um, and then the item number is right there for metallic. And then they also have pearlized, which is the um, black, real red, and white. That was the one that was available in the fall. Everything else, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I think, I think everything else is the same. The decorative masks might be new. I would have to look into that. I don't know offhand and I don't want to tell you the wrong thing, but if you're looking for those natural tone stamp and blends, this is where they are. So where the other ones are listed with color collections, these are here. Okay. Um, here, um, adhesives, 
I don't think I need to say much about that. Um, lots of new with embellishments. I'm not going to go through every single one. I would just say to you, get your catalog out and take a look. They have a lot of new options. Um, shaker circles, loose silver sequins, so many different things. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten new embellishment options on this page alone. So there's a lot going on there. Um, it, it's kind of hard to see too when I'm showing it this way, but wow, the embellishments are absolutely fabulous. Check those out. That's on pages 140 and 141. Now getting into ribbon, we do have a lot of cool new ribbon options. I will admit to you guys, I actually haven't gotten a lot of ribbon. I did get in color ribbon. Um, they have these, you know, in color options in all five shades. This is going to be part of my club. So I have Moody Mauve on the way. I'll be able to take a look at that soon. Um, the black and white gingham, I use that regularly. But there are some new ones in here. Pecan Pie, um, the Sheer Ribbon Combo Pack, which is Azure Afternoon Bubble Bath and Lemon Lolly. So if you're really trying to add in those new colors um, in, in multiple products, then check out the ribbon because there are some really cool ones here. The Misty Moonlight Braid Ribbon. I mean, they're really pretty. So just wanted to mention that there's more new back here. I think this was the one that's with Zoo Crew. Uh, Ribbon Duo Combo Pack. This is Lemon Lime Twist and Petal Pink. So that's a really good option. This one I thought was so cool. And I think this is part of Earth and Elegance. And that's the Natural Wavy Trim. So just wanted to shout that out. For those in my club, um, you'll be getting the Jute Trim. I think that's the right way to say it in Moody Mauve this month. And we'll be collecting those over the five months. Um, and then over here, they have tools. The only thing that is new that has been added to tools are these Take Your Pick Crafter Tips, which go as part of your Take Your Pick tool. These are the new ones over here. Um, number nine. Let me point at the right thing. So this option right here. So these are called the hobby blade, the pick tip and the rotary uh, perforating tip. Now, these are also delayed. Okay, so I'll update you guys whenever those become available. But I did see a, a note that these were delayed. If that changes, I'll let you know. But if you're ever looking for your staple pieces, this is where you would find the tools. This is page 145 of the 2023-2024 annual catalog. This we start getting into the section for punches and bundles with punches. Uh, so, you know, you guys can go through all of the, you know, punches if you want. I'm just going to point out the new, the Elegant Edge Tag Topper. We had already talked about the Monkey Builder Punch with that bundle. Um handy helpers. So this is, and I'm really bad at ordering this stuff, but this is a great place to just kind of point out. If you need stays on cleaner, which I do, and I did order it, here's where you find it. It took me three years to order it probably. Um, I use it all the time. I don't know why it took me so long. Simply chamois is just one of my personal favorites, but you could also do the stamp and scrubber if you're looking for ways to clean your stamps. Now these have been around forever, so they're not new. So I'm kind of changing my mind here, but I do want to show you these core pieces because they are easy to miss. If you need the grid paper to cover your surface, I never have them and I should always get them. They're right here. <laughs> and then also masking paper, which I just think is really cool. Clear block bundle, I can't recommend enough. And they also have a storage caddy if you travel or if you just like to be tidy. Okay. And then here, um, again, this is more for tools, machines, accessory pieces. None of this is new. Um, getting to the back, starting on page 154, um, double take. Oh, so this is bundles. We're getting into bundles here. You can start to see the imagery of the dies better back here. Now that said, we just went through all the bundles. So I'm not going to like go through all the bundles again here on the live, but let me just kind of page through. If there's anything that you guys want me to stop on, just let me know. How stunning is that card? Oh my gosh. Yeah. These two, they got me right away. Those were like, those were the first two. I'm really surprised I didn't order this. I just, I, I really, I have to get a hold of myself. I have a budget. You know, we all have the budget. All right. And then I can't wait to use that. Here it is. Little dreamers. 
So what I was saying about that star um, background stamp, Little Dreamers was the bundle that I was referring to. But honestly, you could also do that with Lazy Days and make it a night scene. So I'm just saying. Okay, so let me just page through. Okay, so those are all the bundles if you just want a better look there. Now here we get into the dies section. So this is starting on page 161. And again, I'm going to focus on new. Okay, so anything that has that pink and next to it, brilliant backgrounds is new, delightful doily hybrid, which means the folder will um, impress the embossing and then also die cut at the same time. Uh, that is new. If there's anything I missed, I apologize. Um, gorgeous garden. This is stunning. So in the spring, they had a set. What was it called? Oh my gosh. It should, it should be right around here somewhere. I can't think of it off offhand right now, but I was obsessed with it. Anyway, this reminds me of that, but just different patterns and those backgrounds. If you love detailed dye backgrounds, that's a must. Um, nested essentials is just that highly recommend. Um, paper florist is new patchwork pieces. I think we're going to see a lot of this. I can't wait to get that. I really wish I would have gotten that in my order today, but I did not, um, petal patterns that is new. And on this page, let's see, wanted to say that is new. And that has a lot of great sayings in the shadow background that goes with it. So you're too kind. Happy birthday. Feel better soon. Celebrate. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything. All right, and then for embossing folders, Countryside Blossoms. Here's that delightful doily hybrid. We have it in both places. Exposed Brick 3D. Is that cool or what? Oh my gosh, that's fabulous. Geometric Patterns, um, that is new. And that's a different size. So these are two folders. This is the three and three eighth by six and a quarter size. Um, twisted rope. This is part of that fishing suite. And one of oh, this one, this is part of the countryside suite. So I just wanted to mention that for those of you who are shopping and you want to make sure you're not ordering doubles of things. Okay. Um, and then back here, this is always the part that I forget to talk about, but if you're interested in hosting, um, or if you are interested in joining, you can find information in the back of the catalog. So um, if you are looking into hosting a party or if you're interested in host rewards, this is the chart that helps you understand depending on the size of your personal sales or party. If you hit 150 in sales, you save 10%, meaning you get 10% back and then you can choose product with the reward. Um, 300, it's 12%, 450, it's 14%, 600 or more, it's 16%. And when you hit 450 or higher, you qualify for a 50% off item. So something to keep in mind when you're shopping. And then hostesses get to choose exclusive items. Calm and Quiet is one stamp set here. And then Night of Flight is the other option. So when you see that little host right next to that, that means it can't be purchased. Only hosts can qualify for it at a certain level of sales. Okay. And you can read more and find out more about that here. Here we have our index. Um, so if you need to find something quickly and then did I pass the join part? I think I did. So I, I just wanted to shout it out because did I miss the page? Hold on. Is this it? What was I just totally? Yeah. Starter kit. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. So this one here, um, if you are interested in joining Stampin' Up, the majority of people who join Stampin' Up are hobby crafters. Um, and then you get a 20% discount when you join. But when you get, or not when you join, but as a demonstrator, you can save 20% on your purchases. When you first get your starter kit, what you do is you would choose $125 worth of product, but you only pay $99. So you're choosing. If you have a shopping list from this new catalog and you want to get it at a discount, you can save $26 when you get the starter kit. You also get free shipping on the starter kit. So that is something to keep in mind. 
Um, and then, of course, they do have resources and um, some materials in the starter kit if you are interested in starting a business or if you just want to hand catalogs out to friends. So that's just always an option to consider as well. Um, so, yeah, that covers it. OK, I can't believe I actually got through this whole catalog. All right. Let me just switch back. Hang on. And I didn't even drink my coffee. Okay, so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for this catalog walkthrough. Um, it has been a long but really fun day. Catalog launch days are one of my absolute favorites. It's just such an energetic, exciting day. Um, I was up very early in the morning placing the club and the paper share order, which more information will be going out to you um, for those of you who registered um, very shortly. Um, but just getting that order in, the exciting new products that are going to be coming here. Um, for those of you who do like information when it comes to new catalog walkthroughs and unboxings, I will open up and show the product. Um, you know, I, I will do an unboxing when they arrive here. So just depending on that timeline, I'll unbox when it gets to um, my home. So if you guys have any questions for me about the new catalog, please don't hesitate to ask me. Let me know. Um, I'll put up my email address just one more time. I'll put up my blog information too. Um, so you can email me at this email address here, stampingwithheart at gmail.com. Um, you can find out more information like catalog launches and events and things like that on my blog. Um, if you haven't already joined my email list, I would encourage you to sign up. If you like to see sneak peeks of the Facebook Live projects and um, any information about Paper Pumpkin, upcoming kits, catalogs, anything like that, um, all of that gets put in my email first or my email list first. Um, so that's just something to consider. And then, yeah. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate you being here and I will see you again on Thursday at 7 30 PM. All right. Have a great day. Enjoy. Happy catalog launch day. Happy shopping to you. Bye-bye.